A lot of people who pursue engineering say they do so because they're good at math and science or have a knack for fixing and building things. But missing from this perspective is the individual fulfillment that a career in engineering can provide. Beyond problem solving and innovation, engineering with an entrepreneurial mindset can lead to a high impact life. This is the story of how one student learned this and how the discovery impacted his fellow students, students in other disciplines, and his family. Dale's my little brother. Um, he's triplegic. He doesn't have use of his left arm or his two legs. Uh, he's bound to a wheelchair. But he's very driven. Despite the challenges that he fights physically, he seems to transcend that with his attitude and his drive to do everything that he can without help. Physical therapists had tried several methods to help Dale strengthen his left arm with the goal of giving him greater independence. Each therapeutic attempt was overwhelmingly frustrating and none seemed to work. Then Brad had an idea. Not being able to go outside and just run around the backyard, uh, video games are his outlet. Video games literally open up a world to him. He'd play with his right arm only and uh, so that would be very difficult for games that required both hands to be moving some type of control. He gets defeated after a while, and I don't want to see him getting beat up in the virtual world just like I would never want to see somebody hurt anybody in my family in the physical world. Brad decided to do something about it. He asked his professor if he could work on the project in his capstone engineering course. And I said I would love to make a, a controller that could, use, that could help Dale play these video games. And I told him the three requirements. I said it has to have a customer, it has to uh, be a design process, and it has to be uh, something that's a real world need. They assembled a team of engineering students and began working on the problem. We came up with multiple prototypes and had him test them. And they, at that time they were just mechanical prototypes. But it was just to get the feel of what worked for Dale. They faced many challenges. Could they create a design that Dale could control with his left hand? Could they program the interface so that it would interact with the video game? After several attempts, they made a primitive prototype that allowed Dale to move a dinosaur across a computer screen. After we saw how accurate and the range that he had, it was just, it was a great day for, for the team. His mom was so excited, like she was crying and just so happy because he was so he, he, he like really loved doing it and he was, she said she'd never seen him move his hand like that. This success gave them hope. Not only had they created an interface that worked for Dale, but it appeared to have some therapeutic value for him. Perhaps this device could be used by others besides Dale. The semester was coming to an end, but there was more work to be done. So the project was handed over to a new team. So we took a lot of what they did and we had to adapt what they learned and applied it to make a functional controller. What started as an engineering challenge had now become a business challenge as well. So students from the business school were added to the team. We discussed whether this is something we can pursue as a business venture to create into a company, um, to bring it to the marketplace. A lot of times what we're trying to do is, is help the engineers and help the uh, entrepreneurship majors look at both of those issues in a way that looking at just from their own specialty they wouldn't see. In the business school sometimes you don't realize what goes into building a product um, and it's kind of exposed us to that as well as exposing them to even though you could build it that doesn't mean that um, it'll succeed. They also explored other applications and other industries beyond video games that could benefit from the device. The second team made improvements to the design and electronics. They used 3D printing to create a new prototype. The time had finally come for Dale to test a functioning controller. Go in the best. You got it. Good job. <laughs> what we saw here was, in our minds, uh, I think nothing short of miraculous. We actually saw improvement in a very short period of time. He was determined, he stuck with it, and it became clear that he was very slowly learning how to use those gross motor skills to, to move that controller better than he 
than he did when he began. It reinforces my belief that someday Dale can use both of his arms effectively and become more independent. This provides a fun way for him to do therapy um, and get those thousands of repetitions that are actually needed to rewire the brain and reorganize the brain and nervous system. If we can make it fun and make it more like a video game, suddenly um, you know, he's able to, to reach and move and, and push those muscles, challenge himself. The greatest thing was today when Dale was using the prototype and he scored the first basket and the whole room erupted. The human part of the engineers came out. This is why we do it. When you see that what you're doing makes a difference in someone's life, you, you just you can't beat that experience. Seeing Dale playing with the product that our engineering team created was so fulfilling. That was probably my first big project where we actually put engineering to work and see how it affected the world. I think we see it more, more than a customer. This is for Dale. I do see the role of engineering differently, it, and it, it changes a lot about how you think about what you do. Keeping him in mind, keeping the customer in mind, I think will be definitely something I take away from this. They understood now what it means to have an entrepreneurial mind, mindset. Uh, when they started this semester, they, uh, they were looking to solve a problem. Uh, now they're looking to how can they meet a need that really exists in society. There are opportunities out there for engineers to dramatically change people's lives for the better, and we need them. Without engineers, these things don't work. It's only through engineering that you can do this. They've made a huge difference here. Brad's project was supported by the Kern Entrepreneurship Education Network a collaboration of universities working together to instill an entrepreneurial mindset in undergraduate engineering and technology students. Part of being in Keene School really you know, enables us to apply you know, this knowledge into a, into a field that we know is really going to affect someone um, in need. Engineering education develops skills, but engineering education applied with an entrepreneurial mindset impacts lives. What would you say to the engineers that made, your, made the controller? What do you want to say? Thank you. <laughs> Look at the camera and tell them. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for... <laughs> Thank you for my freedom. Mm -hmm.